<laughs> Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. This is Old Car Auto Guy and guess what's happening today. That's right, today is the day we are blowing up Project Bubbles. So you're going to want to stay tuned throughout the whole video because we've got lots of action-packed stuff for you to see. Guys, we're out here at the shop and we've got bubbles just kind of turned into the sun, getting the frost off of her. It was a nippy morning this morning. We're talking 30 degrees. So we're getting ready to load bubbles onto a trailer and take him to his final destination. So let's get her loaded up and get on our way. Well guys, we've got bubbles up on the trailer and we were worried that it wasn't gonna fit. Take a look at how close it was coming between the fenders. Good thing the tires were wet because it slid right in there. Almost, almost slid in. So now we're just gonna get a strap down and then we're on our way. All right boys, she's pulling out. Okay guys, we've made it to the undisclosed location here in Mexico. It's amazing how much Mexico looks like Canada this time of year. Anyways, we've got bubbles on the trailer. We're gonna get it backed off. And I think the plan is that we're gonna go way down there at the other end of the pit, just past those rocks. We should be plenty far enough away that we could hit the vehicle and see the explosion and be safe. That's the main key. We wanna be safe. And so what we're doing is I was gonna bring my slingshot to activate the Tannerite because you have to have something high powered and a slingshot was probably the most common thing that I thought to use but I couldn't find it so we're relying on the old windmill here we're gonna throw a rock and yes we will be able to throw it that far and penetrate bubbles and activate the Tannerite with a simple throw of a rock so let's get this thing unloaded So a plan of action with part one is we're gonna drain the oil out of bubbles, we're gonna redline her with a fast idle stick, and we're gonna see how long she lasts. So without further ado, let's get at her. So we're out here trying to scope out a good location to park bubbles uh, for our shenanigans today. And we found this little dig out here in the, uh, in the pit. And we're thinking once the sun rolls around, it'll be shining right on it, enough that we can see it. And I think we're still enough distance away, we could go way over there behind those mounds and be safe. And what do you think, Justin? I, I think I can throw a rock from that far, eh? Fast so. enough to ignite that? I think so. Yeah, well, we'll all get a shot at it anyways. We'll take turns. Yeah. So anyways, I got my buddy Justin here, and of course you all know Junior, and we've got somebody else. Uh, Justin's father is uh, coming out just uh, to enjoy the experience. So we're going to do... Uh, little pre-run here and see if we can uh, throw a rock that far and get things started. So we're getting ready to do a test fire on one pound of tannerite so you guys will know exactly what one pound looks like and then we'll put bubbles into place and we're going to use all 12. So take a look at this. And there you have it guys that is one pound of tannerite. So Let's get bubbles in place. We're going to do the uh, draining the oil out of the motor. We'll see how long the motor goes first. Then we're going to jump right in to blowing bubbles. So 
a slight change in plans, guys. We've uh, decided that we have drained the oil out, but rather than blow the motor first, we're gonna blow bubbles up. Then, we're gonna see if it starts afterwards because it will be even more epic if it does, and then we'll go and blow the motor. Nevertheless, we are just moments away from putting the Tannerite in the vehicle and seeing this thing go boom. Well, there she is, folks. There's our 12 pounds of Tannerite. And uh, we're ready to roll. We got a GoPro set up here on the hood, so we're gonna try and catch it. Hopefully, we don't sacrifice the GoPro. But as of right now, we are taking the slow walk back to safety. All right, guys, we are getting ready to do this. Bubbles is all set up down there in the pit. Everything is ready to roll. So without further ado, let's do this. Here we go. <laughs> So here's a piece of something. And there's another one over here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's any getting that on the back of the trailer. Oh yeah. We should find my GoPro though. Well folks, I think we underestimated the power of 12 pounds of Tannerite. We didn't even expect that we were gonna get fire, let alone this much fire. Souvenir? Souvenir. Perfectly fine. So now the question is, how do we escape the fire department being called? Not quite sure yet. Have to wait and see. Woo! What do you think guys? Good video? Best one yet? Leave your comments down below. Well, now that that's all done, it's time to get this thing all cleaned up. But because it caught fire, we're gonna have to come back and have it hauled away professionally. Probably cost me a few bucks, but it'll all be worth it. We're just gonna pick up all the loose metal that was laying around, that got blown away, and uh, load it up on the truck here, and we'll head out. So guys, Thanks so much for making this uh, possible, and uh, we hope to see you in uh, the near future. By the time this video goes up, we'll have reached 2,000 subscribers, and for that, I want to thank you guys. Because without you guys subscribing to my channel, it wouldn't have made this all worthwhile. Big shout out to Junior and Justin for giving me a hand, and uh, now it's just time to gather up the little, little itty bits here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was well worth the effort in losing bubbles the way that we did versus blowing the motor. I'm kind of glad we did it this way. We now know that 12 pounds is quite capable of uh, blowing this thing up. Next time maybe we'll use a little bit less, maybe we'll use a little bit more, who knows. Well the time has come to bring this video to an end and guys you know it's bittersweet. I wish it could go on again and again and again. I'm still grinning uh, from today's experience and we do hope to do it Again, my goal is is that I can get at least one of these done every so often So I'm hoping that you guys will stick around long enough to uh, help me get there now that we have reached the goal of 2,000 subscribers. Thank you again. We're setting the next one at 10,000 So when we get to 10,000 subscribers, we're gonna blow up another car How long it takes us to get there again depends on your guys support 
which means when I put these videos out, you share them with your friends in your Facebook feeds, you post about it on Instagram, and if you're into cars and anybody that, that's into cars likes cars, they're gonna like my channel. Clean, family friendly, and we do, as you can see by today's video, have a lot of fun. And on that note, we're gonna clean off the back of the truck with what's left of bubbles and stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys, God bless. We'll see you again in the next video.